Bicycle helmets are among the most uh, intensely researched area of cycling aerodynamics. The greatest advantage is in a sprint where um, assuming 60 kilometers an hour, 200 meters, this helmet will deliver the, the cyclist to the line four meters ahead compared with uh, uh, previous standard model helmets. To start, Kelso and his team reviewed existing helmet designs to see what works and what doesn't, and optimize the design accordingly. The process started with us uh, developing a minimum thickness shell, a kind of a dome that went over the head. We then built the shape up to make it aerodynamic. From there, it was rounds of trial and error to figure out where best to place vents and how to shape the helmet to create the sleekest design possible. With load cells to measure the drag and using flow visualization techniques uh, such as wool tufts and, and smoke to determine the best shapes. Using velocity probes, I measured the, the velocities around the helmet to determine where the, the highest speeds and lowest pressures would be and that informs the decisions about where vents go. The final design was transferred to a CAD model and rounds of final qualification testing made sure everything was working as it should. Probably around about 150 variants. Uh, it was all a learning process. Really this, the design process was a learning process where I, I learned um, from the flow. It's the first helmet that actually uh, doesn't have any vents over the, the top of the and middle part of the helmet. By removing the vents, we actually allow the, the cold air to go in the front and be drawn all the way through to the back. The other aspect of the removal of the vents is that the design is extremely smooth and uh, it allowed us to give it the, the back of the helmet the, just the right taper uh, and curvatures to reduce the drag. The top female cyclist in the world is uh, an Orica Scott rider and she uses this helmet. Notable for Australia is Caleb Ewan has worn this helmet to many uh, victories in the Tour Down Under and, and various Grand Tours in, in Europe. The challenge of producing the lowest drag helmet in the world was one that I gratefully accepted and we seem to have been very successful in producing an amazing helmet.